So in this series of videos, we're going to be taking a look at how we can find the tangents that are parallel or perpendicular to the initial line for a polar curve. So here is an example of a polar curve, and this has equation R equals a times 1 plus cosine theta. And what we're going to be interested in is where the curve or rather the equation of the tangent to the curve, where it is parallel to the initial line. OK, so in this case, there's definitely one going to be here. And you're probably thinking, right, there's definitely one going to be here. Now, are there any others? OK, so it turns out that there is another one that you can find because the curve comes in here at the pole. OK, but you might also get asked, well, where find the equations of the uh, tangents that are perpendicular to the initial line. So say there, there. OK, so you're only going to get asked uh, to find where they are parallel or perpendicular to the initial line. So you won't be able, won't be doing any others. Um, and you might be wondering, well, OK, well, how are we going to do that? Um, well, if we just focus our attention in on finding those that are parallel to uh, the initial line first, essentially they are going to be stationary points. We're going to be finding stationary points of the curve. So in order to do that, we're going to need dy by dx to be equal to zero. Okay. So if you think about drawing a line, horizontal line, on the curve, and then thinking, right, well, that's parallel to my initial line. It was meant to be anyway. Here is the point that I'm interested in. Now, if we draw a right angle triangle where that is my angle theta, then the coordinates of this point, if this is R, okay, that length there will be R sine theta. And this length will be r cosine theta. So the coordinates of my point will be r cosine theta, r sine theta. So the y coordinate of the point I am interested in will be y equals r sine theta. But still, how are we getting dy by dx here? Well, in order to do that, we're going to be using the chain rule. The chain rule would say that dy by dx is equal to dy by d theta times by d theta, oh, sorry, d theta by dx. And you can alternatively write that as dy by d theta over dx by d theta. Now, because we are interested in dy by dx being equal to 0, we're going to need this to be equal to 0. And the only way that fraction is going to be equal to 0 is if the dy by d theta is 0. So essentially, we need dy by d theta to be 0. OK. Now, dy by d theta, or sorry, y is equal to r sine theta. So we need to differentiate this with respect to theta. But we know what r is. It's this. So we'll be able to substitute our equation into here to replace out the r, differentiate, put it equal to 0, and solve. And we'll be using that method to find the equations of the tangents parallel to the initial line. And if we want them to be perpendicular, then we're going to need dx by d theta to be 0. OK? That's going to be our main methodology. And I'm going to be working through uh, several examples to show you how this can work.